up everybody? My name is Russ. I'm with RWGResearch.com. Uh, a few of you got a little motion sickness last time. Sorry. Um, I sway. What can I say? Um, so this is a popper update. I believe this is number six. Uh, pretty cool stuff to show you today. I'm going to try to rush through it. Uh, I don't want to spend too much time on it because the uploading time takes forever. Um, I'll try to convert these videos a little different, but for now, it's what I got. Um, Quickly, I have been having problems with my internet, so I will uh, probably take a while to upload this video. It is the 12th, uh, no, the, yes, it is the 12th, 9-12-2012. Um, okay, um, so really quickly, uh, I want to ask you guys a question. Um, the popper kit, here's the deal. Um, a gentleman by the name of Chuck has uh, contacted me a while back, back uh, Chuck and Larry. Um, they're working together. They've purchased a popper kit. They have received a popper kit, and um, the popper kit, from what I understand, because I don't have mine yet, basically states that it is not really designed to be uh, given away to the public. The information contained within it is supposed to be contained within it for the people who purchased the kit. Um, so my question is, um, I'm going to show you what's in the kit. I want to set up a poll on my website. I finally created the web page for this project. I'm going to let you guys go there and um, I'm going to ask you a question. I want you to go there and uh, basically click on the option you think is best. Really quickly, um, here's the papers that we got a while back when we bought this kit. It's uh, 350 bucks. You're supposed to be able to build the rest of it for around 500. Um, I don't know what they were thinking here, but that's fine whatever uh, but that's not the point um, the point is is we get uh, the process controller the two high voltage coils and the two modified spark plugs instruction uh, instruction manual including the circuit diagrams which I'm not allowed to release from what I understand the gas mixture instructions the cylinder uh, plans oh I guess they're talking about the actual whole kit and the assembly tips alright so that's what you get 350 bucks um, I know I've looked up these spark plugs and the coils and I can get them for cheaper than this price because there's only two of them. I think they're like 80 bucks a piece. Supposedly they're custom made to get the 100,000 volts but I'm not sure if that is accurate. Um, the only thing we've got here is the circuit board. Um, so if you read the patents you already will understand and know what they're doing. They're just using high voltage and radio frequency and as I showed before I have my RF amplifier right here. Um, there's a closer shot for those of you who are wondering about it. The options on it. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to mention my face. Got a little burnt. Deal with it. Kind of hurts. I have to deal with it. You have to deal with it. Uh, back to the work. Okay, so here's the question. From what I understand, I can't really open source the project even though it's uh, supposed to be kind of an open project. I can't really do that because um, from what I understand, Chuck has mentioned to me that it's kind of written in there that it's not really supposed to be given away. So my question is, um, what shall I do? I want you guys to tell me. Should I get my money back and continue on this project and not worry about it, or receive the kit, build it, and test it? Okay? The reason, the important thing about testing it is, does it actually work? Now, don't forget that Chuck is also over at the forums. He's also doing work, and he's also open sourcing what he can and showing what he can um, to see if it works or not. So he's really, he's already doing what I was going to do was prove or disprove that this kit works. Now, I'm really overall just wanting to get this thing to work, and the information that I have is more about what Bob's setup is. Okay, so that's the question. I will try to set the poll up. Go answer the question. Um, yeah, so that is it. Uh, the other thing I have to show you today is very exciting. I spent a lot of time on this, and if I look tired and about to fall asleep, it's because I am. All right, you ready? Here we go. Ta da! I have completely built um, a replication or as close as a replication as I can possibly get of Bob's setup. All right, um, I don't have the cylinder in here right now, but you can see this is exactly what it is. Now, just for, for, just for show demonstration purposes only, the electrodes are not size or ground, these bolts are not really accurate, and the tubing is not the correct tubing. But for purposes of just showing this thing, here it is. 
Um, so really quickly, I just got the cylinder on top, uh, the top of it, I mean, and just the cylinder itself. No piston or rod. I'm still working on the piston. But uh, I'm just going to pop this off. This is just hand tightened. And I want to show you what the inside looks like. Again, I just uh, slapped this kind of together so I can show you what it looks like together. But it's not really together because I don't have the piston. So, four volts on and on. These are three eighths. Um, I'm going to give you some description on sizes here, but I'm not really going to do much past that at the moment. Uh, this seal on here. And there's a cylinder and the gasket. I do plan on making a different gasket for here. Um, the one that's in here is a little bit small. So let's get a better close-up here. Is that a good shot? That's an alright shot. I'll go even more. So basically, this is what it looks like. Um, you can see by the looks of it, this is pretty much exactly the same thing that Bob has. Um, I have, like I said, taken the pictures and uh, in Google SketchUp, if you, as long as you have one measurement, um, which I know the cylinder size, so I can measure from the cylinder size, and does actually measure everything in the entire thing until I get to the point where I've completely measured everything about it. Now, one thing that I'm going to show you right now that I'm going to be doing slightly different. First of all, I have these bolts temporarily in here, and that is just to so I can set it up here like this. Now, I have this piece of steel. That weighs a ton. Alright, and I'm probably going to end up mounting it on top of this. Because I don't want to drill holes in my table, and this plate is not going anywhere. Um, this is some serious steel. Alright, I'll set that over here. And continuing on. So, for now, what I have is the electrodes here. This camera, I'm going to have to get a better angle for this camera. The electrodes here are tungsten, a uh, thoriated tungsten quarter inch, and um, i got to ground the ends yet. Thanks to Bob for giving me a little tip on grinding these. Obviously these have thorium in them. You're not supposed to breathe the dust that these put off because it is thorium and it is radioactive. Um, it's small quantities, but it will still hurt you on the inside of your body. So he recommended using a wet, like diamond grinding wheel. Um, I'll probably do something similar to that. Um, the buckets are well, the only thing I don't really have done. And I will be making the buckets, but at this moment in time, I don't plan on putting anything in them. I'm just going to use them um, as a way of capturing the plasma, back, EMF, whatever you want to call it. Um, so that's kind of the deal there. Really quickly, I want to show you this seal. This seal sits in here like this. The original one has this lip next to the seal. You can see it, and then the seal sits deeper than the lip. I have done the same thing here. I've created two different lips. Alright. Oh, two different lips there. And the reason is that this top lip actually, the cylinder actually sits on the top lip. Alright. Like that. And then the seal actually sits below the second lip. And what that does is when you tighten this down, the cylinder stays square against something hard, but you still get the seal. All right, so that's the purpose and reason for that. Um, so I just designed it basically exactly the same. I couldn't really tell on Bob's cell how it was, but I figured it probably was like that. So um, what else do I got? Um, I'm going to run through the dimensions slightly, but to be honest, I don't think I'm ever going to actually publish the dimensions unless Bob says that's okay. And the reason for that is um, I basically don't want to put something out there that he had spent so much work on. I'm going to give you rough dimensions. Really, that's all you need to get this done, okay? I mean, the fitting sizes and size, I mean, you don't really need to know too much detail. So I'm just going to measure it, show you what it is, but I probably won't actually publish prints unless Bob says that's okay. I would hate to, to infringe upon his hard work. Um, I don't know if he feels that I am already, but if he does, I do apologize, Bob, but your system is great, man. It works. It looks good. So, the functionality, it's perfect, and uh, I thought, why try to re-engineer it when it works, okay? Um, really quickly on the gauge, I do have a vacuum gauge. I have to thank uh, my buddy Jeff. Jeff sent me a lot of stuff a while back, and I never did make a video, but Jeff sent me a, uh, a pressure gauge here, basically for uh, um, 
filling up the air conditioners. I just took the gauge off and I attached this quick coupling that I had. These actually came from my work. Uh, we have filters on Jettamarks and we replace the filters, but we always keep these old connectors and stuff. We have like hundreds of them. So I usually put them in a bag and uh, they're going to throw them away anyway, so I use them. Basically, it's just a quick connect. It snaps on like that. When you open it, it, it actually seals, but I still have my ball valve here, obviously for the pressure. But uh, that way I can pop it on here and I can do my check. And then, uh, then I can pop it off and I don't have to worry about damaging my gauge or uh, the vibrations beating the gauge up. On the front here, I have the SEPTA. You can see there's some holes there already. See them all? Yeah, it'll focus. Probably won't. Ah, yeah, well. There you go. Anyway, um, so uh, let's do a quick rundown. The other side I have where the vacuum is going to be. I'll probably actually end up putting uh, one of these on the vacuum side. That works really well. And uh, the back side just has a plug. That's the way his is. And Bob, just to let you know, I got a pre-drilled wrong spot hole just like yours. <laughs> uh, I start drilling it and realize it's in the wrong spot. I'm like, well, crap. So it, it is almost identical to yours, even with the hole drilled in it. Um, let me see. I'm going to grab my calipers. Oh, yeah, here we go. And I'm just going to give you some rough in, in, uh, measurements, okay? So overall diameter, mine's a little bit bigger than Bob's. It's just because I had the excess material. It's 4.87 of an inch. Okay. Um, the depth of these slots should be about an inch. 1.25, 1.25 of an inch. Um, the inside top lip fits that cylinder exactly, which should be about... 3.5 inches. The inner lip is about 3.413 and the inside should be about 3 inches. Alright, roughly 3 inches. Um, the depth of the entire, well the depth of the back, let's see what you need to see in here, there you go. The back here should be roughly 1.25 of an inch. That's what I measured it at. And then the bottom completely looks to be approximately 2.234. Now, I did cut the bottom slightly deeper than his, I believe, but by the time I got done, it almost looks about exactly the same. Um, so, again, these fittings right here are 3 8 by 3 8 Okay, 3 8 pipe thread by 3 8 uh, compression. These are quarter inch by quarter inch ball valves, so these are quarter inch holes all the way around, three eighths all the way around. These holes right here are three eighths. These bolts are three eighths of an inch uh, coarse thread. Um, the bottom hole is uh, three quarters of an inch pipe thread, national or uh, the tapered pipe thread. Okay, I actually bought two of these little lenses, and it, the reason I did this because I figured I'd over tighten it and crack it, and I actually happened to do that. I will see if I can get a close shot of that. Um, I figured I'd do it, and look at there, I did. And uh, it is what it is. Let's see if we can see it. Uh, you can't really see it. Now, I actually plan on taking some epoxy, and uh, I got some two part clear epoxy. And actually, what I plan on trying is just pouring a bunch of epoxy in that hole and seeing. Uh, Seeing if I can fill it up and uh, still have a nice seal. If not, I'll put the other one in. I used a single uh, double-sided wrench, and I should have used a full wrench to where I caught all the corners. But I didn't. Uh, lastly, the um, the bolts here are half-inch bolts, half-inch threaded bolts. Um, the thickness of the entire thing should be like three inches. This one's uh, awfully darn close. Two point nine nine eight. Um, other than that, that's that's really all I'm going to give you. I, I don't think I'm ever going to give a full-blown di dimensional thing of this because, like I said, unless Bob says that's cool, I don't want to come across uh, trying to steal people's idea. I just, uh, I got respect for you, Bob, and uh, it works, and I uh, figured why not just do what you got if it works. Uh, lastly, I hope you guys enjoyed this. No, I spent a lot of time on that. Lastly, I did want to show the gauge real quick. Um, I have to thank my buddy who uh, purchased the camera, 
the other hydrogen cylinders I got and the argon, um, that individual actually, we were going to get a few other different gases and I did not get those for testing. I wanted to do a few tests first, so I, I happened to have this gauge. It's probably, I don't know, $250 gauge. Um, it's not a, it's not a two-stage gauge. It's not really a clean gauge. It's not really designed for pure gases. Uh, but nonetheless, it, it fits same size and it works, and that's fine. I'll probably put a second regulator on it to make it a double stage, because um, this will only go down to 5 PSI, and that's not really low enough. All right, my uh, 15 minutes are up. I'm trying to hurry up so I don't have such a long video. So I hope I hit all the key points here, and um, hope you guys enjoyed what I did. I spent a uh, few hours on this. <laughs> But uh, it, it looks it looks almost identical if you go look at what Bob's got. It's uh, it's awesome. So answer the question over at the polls, please. And um, this way I can get your opinion on it. What should I do about this popper kit? Um, I need I need your guys' opinion. Um, other than that, it's really all I got to tell you. So yeah, like I said, it burnt my face. Kind of looks great. You see where my glass lines are. Let's see what the hat. I know. I had these on here, and that was it. So they match. So I'll just stay like this. Anyway, peace and love to you all. Thank you for your support, as always. And go vote on what I should do about the popper kit. Um, should I let it go and use the money to finish this project and just incorporate the RF, which I plan on doing anyway? Because here's the here's the real problem. If you read the patents. Everything that Bob is doing and everything that Intelligentry is doing is all in the patent. So it's not like it's information that's hidden. It's all out there in the open. Um, I will tell you really quickly that the circuit board, and I noticed this in a picture, the circuit board that they give you actually has a uh, programmable chip on it. And this programmable chip, chip actually controls everything on the board. So it's not like I can download the program. They probably got it locked. Maybe they don't. But it's not like I can get the program and share the program either. All this stuff is going to be not open source. And the point of this project is to show you guys what you need to do to get this done. And build it yourself and use it for yourself. Uh, yep, that's it. Uh, no longer am I going to waste your time or my upload time. Have a good day. Thank you and uh, enjoy. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Peace and love. Bye.